Hey guys, I'm Taylor from NetBeansTutorials.com and this is extended math practice with NetBeans. Um, basically what we're going to do in this session is we're going to define a few variables, have the program use those variables in a math equation, and then display the results in a text box. Well, not in a text box, but in the output window. Okay, let's get started. Well, first we need our scenario, don't we? Um, we're going to go ahead and say that the scenario is I'm going to do a loan to a friend for five thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and do these amounts before we declare our variables. Loan amount would be five thousand um, dollars. Let's say he would pay me back over the period of uh, fifteen years. That's a long time. I'm not quite that patient. Let's say the the uh, interest rate would be six uh, percent. Let's do six. Okay. Um, I think that's all the variables we'll need for this. All right. Now we're going to have to decide what kind of uh, variable those are all going to be. Well, the loan amount. Its integer is a whole number, so we're going to go ahead and make it a direct int. So we're going to type int loan amount and then a semicolon. Very good. Now we're going to do amount of years, which is again a whole number, 15. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Amount of years equals 15. Oh, whoops. My mistake. I wasn't declaring the variable. I just gave it a value. Okay, int. There we are right as rain. Now we're going to need annual rate. Well, annual rate has a decimal in it, so we're going to actually make it a double. Annual rate. Anytime you have a decimal, you must make it a double. It cannot be an int or else you will have an error. Okay, now we're just going to need um, the equation. Okay. Well, we're going to need a variable for our answer in the equation, so let's go ahead and make one interest amount. This is going to be the interest I gained from from the uh, from the overall deal. <laughs> Int interest amount uh, let's go ahead and call it profit gained just to, so that everything is clear. Okay, we're going to do the equation now. Profit gained equals loan amount, which is the 5,000, times annual rate divided by 100. And then we're going to multiply that by the amount of years, which remember is 15, so I stand qu quite a bit to gain. Alright, and it seems we have an error. Uh, let me try to find that. Hmm, got a cheat mouse over it. Loss of precision. Required int and a found a double. Oh, I see. Well, profit gained would be 4,500.0. So it actually has to be a double. There we go. Everything is perfect now. Now we're going to have it display that to the output window. System.out.println will achieve that function. With the interest rate being... Then we're going to need a plus sign. And then this is actually going to add our variable into the text. Where is that? There it is. All right. System.out.println. And then we're going to go ahead and print out the amount of years. The amount of years is, then you're going to put a space plus amount of years system dot out dot print line and the loan loan amount being So we had some typos. 
Alright, system.out.println The amount of interest gained is plus profit gained. Alright, let's see if she runs, huh? With the interest rate being 6%, the amount of years being 15, and the loan amount being 5000 the amount of interest gained is $4,500. Alright, excellent, you guys have done it. Um, if there's any questions you have, please leave them in the comments and I'll address them. Thank you, and uh, hey, visit my site. Got some more tutorials up there for you. And in our next project, in the next video, we'll actually cover scanner properties. And what scanners do is they'll actually take user input, scan it, save it as a variable, and then use it later on in the code. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. If you'll click on the pop-up, it'll take you right to it.